there we go. All ready to go, mister? Go fuck yourself, pal. And none of that mister bullshit. Mr. Wolverine, uh, we need you to be sober for this interview, if you don't mind. Is that live? Um, yes, uh, we're filming documentary on your life living with Mr. Poole, remember? No, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that today, bub. Come on, get this out of here. A camera! Hi there, I'm Mr. Poole, uh, Deadpool, no space or gaps. Besides the gaps I left in the guy who can tell the difference between me and a British Tom Holland wearing spandex. <sighs> Memory lane. What's it like living with Logan nowadays? Oh man, it's great. We eat, sleep, kill, and very rarely we take showers together. Next time I fight Blob, I'm gonna wear a hazmat suit. Uh, I scrub you wash? Yeah, let's just say he really likes his private times being more private. Shit, uh, Logan! So, just so you know, I, uh, I got some more of that Old Spice shampoo. It's on top shelf. Logan? So, what's it like living with Deadpool? Honestly, could be worse. Let's just say, I think he'll think twice before putting his hand up my ass when I'm asleep. Hey, I have a very logical explanation as to why I gave an unconscious prostate exam. And what reason was that? Uh, you forgot to wipe? No, Wolverine. Hey, hey, slow down. There was this uh, one thing that he does every so often. Every time I use the restroom, he always has to go. And the last time that this happened, well... Come on, Logan, I gotta go wee wee really bad. I asked you if you had to go a lot earlier and you said no. Elsie forgot a booty call that gave me a UTI. I really gotta go. Sounds like it's a U prompt, doesn't it, Bob? Oh, come on. Lay off the beer. Oh, fuck it. Day, the dishes still smell like asparagus and horse piss. So what do you guys do for fun on your, you know, times off? <laughs> we play this game inspired by Robin Williams Jumanji and Richard Connell's Most Dangerous Game where one of us plays the hunter and the other one plays, well... <laughs> oh, I gotcha. The other hunted, but in Logan's case, it's more alien versus predator. Clever girl. So far, it's Logan, 50 points, and Deadpool, zero. I want a rematch! Rematch! Did you ever get your rematch? No, but I did convince Logan that the Game of Thrones really happened, 
when he was super drunk. Bro. Mm hmm Yep. No way. It's true. But wait, I was there, and I didn't see anything. Trust me, dude. I know. It really happened. Wait, wait, wait. How do you know? Cable. You watch TV? No, you hobbit looking troll. Cable! Oh, um, Scott and Gene's kid from the future? And Bingo was his name -o. At least that's what Gene said to Cyclops when he found her G spot. And he cut my head off. Oh, come on! Do you ever have guests over? And if so, how does that go with having a roommate like Logan? Oh boy. I wish I could say that people love coming over, but... Hey, well, we just wanted to give you a heads up that I have company coming over, so if you could just look... on your anger issues. That was my, uh, company I tried giving you a uh, little notice about. Oh. Gee. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you should help me clean this guy. You, you did this. Um. Yeah, uh, I have fun with that. But this is... You need help me bury this body! Go fuck yourself. <sighs> But that would be much of a lie, as Ryan Reynolds saying that The Green Lantern was a good film. Was it? No, it was terrible. So I guess it's safe to say that you guys obviously hate each other, so why stay roommates? Oh, well, well I wouldn't say hate. I would say our relationship is more like a lover quarrel between domestic abuse and a lot of drama. Hate him. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think so. That's a, it's a pretty strong word, and I can definitely atone for the fact that I've used that word quite often, but no, I wouldn't say that. Uh, just because he's hairy and short and probably the worst wingman in romance history, and yes, him being more comics than me definitely doesn't help, doesn't mean I hate the guy. I wouldn't exactly call him my friend, per se. I guess you'd say, in a weird way, we're like brothers. Kind of like in the weird Kardashian way. Without the nepotism, $600 nose jobs, and sex tapes with Kanye. But, uh, hey Kanye, if you're looking for a fool, call me. He's good company. I mean, when he's not trying to kill you or sexually assault you. Actually, not that bad of a guy. Pretty good of a guy, actually, to be fair. I guess at the end of the day, it's good to have someone around other than your left and right hand to jerk you off. And if I ever have to choose between Sabretooth or good old Logan, I'm gonna go with Logan. Uh, I guess at the end of the day, if I had to choose between hanging out with Wade or Beast, then I hear I think what I'd end up doing is just hanging out with Beast for a little bit, and then get bored of his crap because he's all about politics and you kind, and end up calling up Wade to share a beer or something. Oh, Wolvie, well, you do no, care! No, Come on no, here, no, buddy. No. Okay. Yep, alright. Ah, ah! Still love you. I got these. Friendship necklaces. What the fuck is that? Friendship necklaces. You get one part, I get one part. Okay, why do I get the Deadpool one? Well, because that's how it's supposed to work. I want that one. But that's not how it make, that's not how this works. I don't care. But that doesn't make any sense. Too bad. All right, you can get your own face. Uh, Logan, you there? I'm still outside. Where you left me? No idea why my healing factor hasn't given me legs. Pretty sure it has something to do with this lazy writing of this video. Pretty sure an earwig just went clawed in my ear. It's very itchy and crawly. Logan? 
Legs will grow back. Oh my god! Is that a wolf? Logan! Logan! How? Oh my god, Logan! Logan, how? Oh my god, no! 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 